Okay, hey everybody, I'm gonna do something a little bit drastic today. So, um, today is my mom's birthday, and um, she, she uh, isn't really having a good day, and I wasn't thinking, planning on doing this, but, uh, well, I'm gonna shave my beard, my COVID beard, and uh, hopefully it's, uh, she likes me without a beard. You know, like most moms do, you know. Hey, you should get a haircut, bleh. But I dressed for the occasion. Just wanted to show you that. Let me get suited up in my Superman costume. I don't even know how these things operate. I'm like stupid when it comes to this common sense crap. Now, here we go. Here we go. It's like a backwards Superman. There we go, baby. There we go. Now we are cooking with fire. Alright. Got my razor. Got, got a receptacle for the, all the hairs. She doesn't know I'm doing this either. And uh, it's it's been like a year since I've grown this thing out. I've maintained it, trimmed it and stuff because it was annoying. I've catch myself doing this with food, uh, you know, food particles. You know. I'm afraid to do this. <laughs> I'm shaking a, a bit. Um, but uh, one thing I will add, when it comes to eating food, I notice that like, like I'm like pushing my mustache out of the way. I've never had a mustache before, mostly a beard. Kind of like I go for the Amish look, I guess. A lot of people like to say. Um, but uh, like with the mustache, it, like I'm not used to it because I'm I'm a tuba player I'm a brass player and so like um you know I, I'm, I've never had the mustache before so it's such a weird texture playing um but I wanted to try it out you know at least once in my life you know um well anyways <laughs> I, I, I don't know talking about mustaches and beards and stuff and I just kind of let everything go and um I'm gonna miss it. I mean, I did this once before, back in 2016. Must be every election cycle or something like that, where everybody gets a cleanse, you know, the new beginnings and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid to start. This, okay, this thing, this thing works. Uh, <sighs> okay, deep breath, deep breath. Let's have fun. Let's have fun with this. I'm gonna use this beard to compost with, I think. So it'll live on in my, in the plants, in Mother Nature. I don't know, some hippy dippy spiritual shit that that makes me feel good about doing this. But um, <sighs> here we go. This is for mom. Gotta make her feel happy, cause not a lot of people showed up to her party today. So I'm kind of I need to trim my unibrow, actually. Let me warm up a bit by doing that. Okay. <sighs> Man. Goodbye, luscious locks. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. What am I fucking doing? I can't swear. Alright, here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh man. <laughs> I'm really doing it. It's like a like a side Hitler going on there. I do this every time I grow a mustache. I do like a Hitler mustache. That that's bad, but like if you're a guy who hasn't tried that. Oh man. Looking Amish already. Now let's go full on baby face, okay? I. That's why I don't shave. That's. I'm, I've kind of been harassed or bullied because of the whole baby face thing, but. You know, once I'm in my late 30s, I'll still look this way, so. Joke's on them in the long run. Hopefully I don't get hit by a bus or shot in the face. God forbid I don't die. Wow. Oh, oh, oh shit. 
Oh, God. That's what my face looks like? All right. Here we go. Let's, let's shave down the middle. Make it look really stupid. Actually, no, let's do a stylized, like, yeah, from the side. I might do this if I'm ever, like, in a, like, a prog rock band or something, you know, have a, bass players always have that weird fucking, I don't know, if, I don't know what artist I'm thinking of that has, like, weird fucking, you know, sideburns that are weird and stupid and probably died. I, I don't mean to down talk that either, you know, it's like, it takes bravery to have that, you know, like, I don't know. I was kind of apprehensive about guys like Skrillex, you know, like with the whole sides cut, like completely buzz cut with the long hair. Not something I could do, but uh, more power to them, you know. I don't have the confidence, you know. Yeah, getting hair all over me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm a bit out of practice here. Wow. The COVID beard's coming off. <sighs> okay. Keep going. Just don't think about it. I'm going to go down straight down the middle. Even the soul patch is gone. Everything. Oh my god. There's so much of it. Oh, look at that. Oh, let me talk about this. It's like a Fu Manchu beard. God. Well, I'm probably going to grow this back in the winter time. I already feel like the ghost of it. Beard, fellow beard people. If you ever shave, do you ever feel like the ghost of the beard if you, like, do something as drastic as this? I only did this once before in my life. And, uh, that's why I'm kind of nervous to do it again. But, like, I feel the ghost of it like it there should be something there but there's not um yeah let's continue on oh god i got a double chin well had to happen sometime it's humbling it's a humbling experience to get myself out of my comfort zone there we go hopefully there's enough bearded pictures of me to enjoy Oh, wow. Really freaking... Wow. Is this bit hanging? You know, I always kind of do this, like... Anytime I hit a low in my life, I just grow my beard out and I don't really care about looking good. And, uh, you know, then after a while I start working out again and, you know, focusing on my body. Usually like a bad breakup and stuff like that. Oh, there's still a bit here. <laughs> and uh, I kind of... That's why I'm a huge fan of Samurai Jack, because he had that, like, ruggedly handsome... I'm not handsome at all. Jeez, got that double chin going. But, like, the, uh... That, like, Samurai Jack was out when I had the beard and, like, the depression and the thoughts of... Now I just look like, a I forget the name of the president, but he, uh, he, he rocked the muttons, the mutton chops. Not a fan of them, personally. I don't even like beards, you know, but, you know, I have a roundish face. Wow, that's what my face looks like? God. <laughs> oh, 
I'll get used to it. I'll probably get that squishy ball thing that you see in the YouTube ads, you know, where you like work your jaw out so I can look manly. Um, but yeah, I always put the, uh, I don't know, I, I sometimes do character parallels in my life, you know, like, at this point in my life, I'm like Samurai Jack, you know, all dark and depressed, beard grown out. I don't know, I think it comes with the territory to have a beard sometimes, is to, like, be depressed and... I guess you see that in Hollywood where, you know, the five o'clock shadow, oh, he doesn't shave every day, he, he must be like, must be going through a rough patch in his life, and it's kind of true, you know, Let me get rid of this stub stubborn bitch and keep going. Oh wow, there's like some stragglies right here, you see that? I'm going to leave the sideburns long. You know what? It's like if you're on like a 10 foot drop off and you know you're gonna land in like a a lake that's like 20 feet deep and you know you're not gonna like snap your spine from the deep drop. I've done that before in Vermont. Very fun. I highly recommend it for you for you kids, you whippersnappers. Parents are always gonna be scared of that shit. Um, what was I getting at? It's like that, you know, you're you're up there, really high, you're like, uh, before bungee jumping or something like that, and you're just like, oh, shit, I, I'm gonna fucking jump. For some reason, that's what this beard is for me. It's like, why am I so attached to this thing? I don't even like this. I, maybe it's because uh, I was comfortable. I'm gonna miss it, you know? It's the end of an era. But I am going to get that jaw chiseler thing, I think. That could be for a different YouTube channel, maybe. Goodbye. Got some stragglies. Probably gonna shape this up a bit with a regular razor. And I'll get the smooth baby face feeling. <laughs> Let's see. Sideburns. I usually like going to the earlobe. Or like where the actually you know what that's a per that's a fine distance perks I get to see my earring it's on the left side too so I'm not into guys I got a uh, I had this uh, <laughs> at a at a Disney store I got I got winked at by uh, somebody that was into me that was not female and you know no you know different strokes you know not my thing it's a bit awkward I understand how women feel when it comes to the internet and uh, a bunch of guys hitting on them out of the blue I, I have no idea the eyebrows I've heard are good that's probably like the only good thing about me <laughs> um, so I'll shape this up a little bit and I could probably sh I'll shape that this up later uh, in a bit I'll, I'll stop recording here and then we'll see my mom's reaction as I come downstairs okay here we go <laughs> 
Wish me luck. I mean, she's gonna love it, but I don't love me as much. I wanna fix this. I gotta do some neck yoga. That's a thing. Neck yoga. Look it up, folks. Actually, <laughs> check out all that hair. That is the copper, Irish, golden, I think northern Italian looking. Actually, it's kind of brown. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, more like southern Italian there. Anyways, um, that's going in the compost. And I'm going to finish this up. And we are going to wow my mother and make her, make her, make her day, basically. She had a rough start. I, I messed up with the waffle maker. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I wanted to make her waffles. I wanted to make her waffles and stuff, but it was just like uh, backfired. You know, waffle irons are harder to use than I imagined, and I tried making them vegan, and uh, it's kind of a train wreck. Not a lot of people showed up to her party, so she's kind of upset about that. Um, but this might be something that makes it memorable um and i had to be full of myself with that i just know this is something she enjoys and she knows that i have a comfort in having a beard so hopefully it means a lot to her because uh i really hope she has a good day and that's bottom line you know all right wish me luck should we find a new car only up into your house I moved downstairs in the basement. You should! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> oh man, just cried. Oh my god, what did you do my son? <laughs> like you oh clean shaven. Oh my god, you're so I beautiful. Do. You're always beautiful. I can't feel my face. <laughs> <laughs> when, wow. When you, you died right in front of yourself. In the Teresa video, there's a picture of you with your mom clean shaven, and I was like, I like him clean shaven. Oh, wow. This is like, this is so weird. I don't know. You know, well, you'll get your. Now that it's gone, you like the beard, right? You did a beautiful job. Work of art. I was trying to do this series a couple of years ago, too. Amazing. Hey everybody, so that video you watched, I recorded almost a month ago it's been, and uh, I've kind of been reluctant to upload that because I'm not, like, I don't really record myself at all. I mean, I used to, like, a long time ago, but, like, I didn't know I had such an evil laugh. It kind of reminded me of this one skit that this YouTuber named ProZD does, where he, um, you know, he does a bunch of skits and stuff, and there's this one where, like, it's just a really nice guy, except his laugh is like an evil villain. That's me. That's me. I can't believe <laughs> I Maybe it's changed. Maybe my laugh has changed a little bit, but even sometimes I catch my sister being like, wow, that was an evil laugh. Like, am I, am I evil? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you know, just, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm a natural born to antagonist or something. Master Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts, uh, the Kingdom Hearts series is like one of my favorite characters. So, you know, maybe I look up to that. I, maybe I aspire to be that or something. I don't know. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe as always. Um, I'm going to try doing more vlog stuff just to make this channel a bit more balanced. And, um, you know, I'm up to 260 subscribers. And I usually do a video like this every once in a while, you know, congratulating. Oh, new milestone, blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't going to do a new milestone until, like, I got 500 or 1,000 subscribers. But 250, that's good. That's that's good for now. You know, I'll take it. Um, the way the climate of the internet has been evolving, um, you know, it, it just hasn't really, you know, for smaller channels, it's harder for us to grow. Not that I'm saying that my qual the, the quality of what I do for everything is absolutely excellent. 
I definitely have to step my game up, but how I, I'm going to go about doing that is something that's been perplexing me for quite some time. Um, but, you know, there's going to be some progressive changes that I do. I'm going to do more garden vlogs. I'm going to do maybe some fitness stuff. Um, you know, still work on music and stuff. Um, but make it more, more of like a variety channel. I'm going to digress for now. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. And I uh, hope everybody had a good summer, too. Let me know how your summer was, you know? I like having conversations in the comment sections. But yeah, how do I look? You know, it's been a month. I've been clean-shaven for a month. Look at me, baby face. Still got the... Kind of got a 5 o'clock shadow. So my life isn't perfect yet. Got some chubs I gotta work on. We'll fix it, kids. And until next time, I will bid you all a fond adieu. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Take care, everybody.